My name is Hidemo Roy Asaki. I'm a Sengo Kibei. We are known as the Japanese American returning home after being educated in Japan. An online encyclopedia describes Kibei of the early 1940s as the people thought of as likely threats against the U.S. because they were considered a dangerous element with suspected loyalties to the emperor and, the, and to Japan. So just to protect myself as not to be considered a dangerous element, I refer to myself as a Sengo Kibei and after the war, returnee. I was born and raised in LA until I was 10 years old. In 1940, I was sent to Japan to live with my grandmother in a little village in Hiroshima Prefecture. My life in Japan spans from 1940 to 49, the turbulent years in Japanese history. I lived there to see the rise and fall of the old Japanese Imperial Empire. We were indoctrinated to worship and die with honor for the emperor. At the inception of the Second World War, the nation celebrated the war victories in Pearl Harbor, Singapore, the Philippines, and on to the South Pacific Islands. Then the tide changed. Large towns in Japan were being, beginning to be bombed nightly by B-29s. Small school children were evacuated to village centers for safety. The nation was determined to fight to the end. Then, we were stunned as we listened on the radio to the Emperor Hirohito make his end of the war proclamation. Looking back, it was a unique time living in a country that fought against my native country. I had no communication during the war with my parents and young brother who were placed in Roar, Arkansas camp. To return home to the States, I left Kobe on February 7, 1949, sailed across the Pacific on SS General Gordon of the American President Line, and landed in San Francisco Harbor two weeks later. During my stay in Japan, I had no occasion to speak English. Therefore, the first thing I needed to do upon returning to America was to learn to communicate in English again, and also not to have to depend on my parents for financial support. To accomplish this, like many of our Issei forefathers, I became what is known as a house schoolboy. You live in with a family to do housework after school for room and board. I moved in with a family on Lakeshore Drive overlooking Lake Michigan. I lived in the servants' quarters and cleaned house, served meals, washed dishes, etc., and attended special English classes held for adult immigrants at a public school. For the summer, I went to work at a vegetable farm operated by three Kurima brothers in Moni, a few miles south of Chicago. I worked for room and board and was paid a whopping 75 cents an hour. In the fall, since I was not ready for college, I decided to enroll in high school. I was a 19-year-old freshman at Wells High on Ashland Avenue in Chicago, taking all the required courses, including gym. I continued my housework career by working with a real estate broker who lived in an exclusive apartment on Astor Street. I did housework, help with preparing meals and serving guests. He was a very generous person and paid my tuition while I attended North Park Junior College in the later years. This is the story of the early life of one Sengo Kibei. Thanks for watching and giving me the opportunity to reminisce over my past life.